Have you been told that your little one has hypotonia? Wondering what does that mean and what's the implication for your child? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to talk about hypotonia and what does that look like for a little one. So here at My Favorite Physio, we see lots of little ones with different concerns. It is quite common that we'll see a little one with delayed gross motor skills as a result of hypotonia. So I thought I'll jump in and talk about it and explain how it may look like for a little one when they have hypotonia. So if you're out there and wondering, does my child have hypotonia? You could perhaps be recognizing some of these signs that a little one may present with. So to begin with, Hypotonia refers to low muscle tone. That means that if you feel baby's muscles, they just feel squishy and soft, not firm like muscle should normally feel when you hold a baby's arm or leg. What it looks like for every child can vary, but generally you might find that when you carry your baby with low muscle tone, they seem to not hold themselves up, but they feel like they're going to slide through your arms if you didn't hang on to them. You will find that very often little ones with low muscle tone may struggle with tummy time. So if you lay them on the mat, they really struggle to just lift their heads up to turn to look one way. So you might find your little one really not tolerating tummy time. Little ones with low muscle tone can often also present with a lot of drooling. So parents might complain that, oh, they seem to just wet through their bibs and I change them 15 to 20 times a day and still they soak right through to their clothing. The reason for that is that when a little one has low muscle tone, it affects all their muscles around their mouth, you know, their throat and their swallowing and their tummy muscles. So they really struggle to keep their lips closed and swallow to keep the saliva down rather it drools out and so you find your little one often drooling forward with all the drool on the front of their clothes. You may also find your little one is struggling with feeding, swallowing, um, latching onto the breast or latching onto a bottle to feed. If they're older you might find that they struggle with eating solids like meats and veggies because it's too hard to crunch. Some little ones end up needing to be on thickened, pureed diets because they can't handle thin fluids. They choke and it goes into their lungs because they don't swallow well. We often see little ones with low muscle tone have delayed gross motor skills. So they're slow to roll, slow to sit up. They're slow to crawl and pull to stand and walk. They would also often have delayed fine motor skills. So you'll find baby doesn't seem to hold their bottle. They can't seem to grasp onto any toy for long. And so you will find that little one requires intervention to help them get stronger. Some little ones will also present with delayed speech because the oral motor muscles, the muscles around their mouth and their tongue is weaker in line with the overall low muscle tone. So they are struggling to learn to speak and so they will need speech therapy to help them along. So if you're at home and you're listening to the list of things we talk about, if you feel that your child is ticking many of those boxes, what you need to do is to ring us here at My Favorite Physio, speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists who would love to have a chat and see if your little one could benefit from early intervention with our pediatric physiotherapist. The number to ring is 02-9790-4233. And if you know somebody out there who has been concerned about their little one saying they seem very floppy, they don't sit well, they drool a lot, they struggle to feed, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a brilliant day. Bye.